Hey, what's up everybody? Here is Deceptions called Family. Welcome all uh, into the next video. Today we're gonna uh, look how to fly like a boss again. This time we're gonna go into the uh, raid uh, to try to solo the city uh, titan. Uh, I will show you guys my team, show you the tactic, the gameplay, how to do it. And yeah, it's 200,000 points. Uh, it is easily achievable to get it in uh, one attempt. Uh, I will tell you guys the, the build of the bots, uh, what, which kind of bots you can put there uh, instead if you don't have them. And yeah, that would be that would be it in this video, guys. So let's go first to the, uh, to the team. Um, so obviously, always as a first will be the Megatron, just to uh, puff our. Uh, boss where we want them, then the next one will be Sandwave for TPS, will be Colligan for TPS, uh, will be Motobuster for the combo, obviously will be two healers, Shockwave and uh, Floodline, and then we got two spots, uh, so one, the first one I'm using usually uh, Cutthroat for the smoke, and then instead of the half shell like in the previous video when we're going against the base to take out the shield we we don't need him uh in the past i would i would really put uh bombshell as the uh, shock towers but i just realized it's not worth it you don't have that much dps and you know obviously you will be shocked for a while for the shock towers but you know you, you can survive this few seconds and then just push through it and destroy the shock tower as much as they don't have a lot of health so here we're gonna put a uh, no first one uh, again megatron just put g1 there uh, and the better break then on sound wave we've got uh, quintus and pterodactyl on a Colligon, as always, Amalgamus and Growl. On the Motomaster, I've got G1 and Cutgut. Then on the No, on the No, we've got G1 and Baru. So lots of lots of DPS from No. And then Cutthroat usually have my Condus and Cuttermaker. On Flatline, Alpha Trion and Shrub. And on the Shockwave, with the Shockwave here. Nexus Prime, Roller Falls. Obviously, I could take Nexus Prime. I don't need it for raids, but I just don't, you know, don't want to spend energy on to shuffle around the course and combat uh, from my war team. So that will be the team, uh, and let's go into the a replay from the from the base. So you can go here the replay. So the tactic is quite simple, uh, we can play them on the right hand side, let them uh, deal some of the damage in the, in the front defenses, destroy a little bit of the middle of this part of the defenses, then cut through smoke, uh, rush to the shock tower, just to take it down as soon as possible. Uh, then I will let them a little bit of the damage on the left hand side and the right hand side. Uh, so I can speed up this this part a little bit, uh, and then what I'm gonna see on the left hand side is not many of the defenses. Very soon I'm gonna use Megatron to yeah to pass the boss to the right hand side. I just left Polygon on the left because I know he's gonna survive and just take the last laser beam. On the right hand side we've got whole team getting a uh, rid of the rest of the defenses. And because we take out this part of the base, what's naturally gonna puff into the Titan, 
and we're gonna use Megatron Rush to take all the bots, obviously. And Polygon, when he's in alt mode, he's not really listening. It's another bug, but who cares? Then, obviously, the Titan base, as you can see, is Trypticon, which obviously should be Metroplex. Uh, but, well, another glitch, another bug, which to stay safe, uh, need to find out on by themselves, because I'm really done doing anything about that game is so glitched back and have so many issues you know space I need to start playing the game themselves to find out about it uh, then I will release the minions of the no and sun sun wave on the on the top as you can see here give them the smoke from cutthroat so basically why I'm doing is just to clearly see how many minions are alive how many are dead if I put them here next to my boss it's it's so hard to see. And you can see guys all what I'm doing now, you know, keeping all the boss together here. Cut of smoke, motomaster uh, ability, uh, shockwave ability to speed them up and just keep using polygon on a cooldown and release the minions. So that will be that will be really it guys. I mean 200,000 points very very easily achievable with this team uh, obviously if you don't have those particular bots uh, definitely what you can uh, who who can uh, give you quite good results as well uh, in my opinion obviously so if you don't have cutthroat you can use uh, you can use runamak to protect your protect your team then you can chuck a uh, black arachnia if you don't have a polygon and or no you know one of them you can chuck the arachnia there you might as well use the hanga i know many people don't like him don't people many people <coughs> don't want to use him but really if he's on his ability level he's doing a good good amount of damage in the line not very a expensive ability, long time, no, 15 seconds on a on a on a ability. So if you're gonna use his ability, plus you're gonna add his shockwave, uh, shockwave ability to speed it up, and then Moto Master increase the damage. It's it's quite decent. It's quite decent. So those two, they might uh, you might use them instead of the. Uh, those two, you might even try as well a uh, Ripper Snapper, right? He's using two and half K damage with 70% chance to deal double damage, so for 15 seconds. So that's 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 as well option which you might consider to add uh, instead of let's say no, or instead of Colligon, more like the Colligon than no, because no, it's just not exchangeable he is dealing so much damage like 1300 damage by himself plus six times let's say 700 so it's four four thousand two hundred plus this around around six thousand damage you know, around six thousand dps you will get from no and his minions if you're gonna chuck into it uh, Moto Master ability is crazy amount of damage, crazy amount of destruction. So make sure that those the minions are alive because, you, as you can see, they're gonna have this 7,000 damage. So they can uh, they can die very easily. But it's worth it. It's worth it, guys. Uh, so that would be what well, that would be everything in this uh, video. How to solo the uh, City Titan. Uh, Titan City, sorry. E next one, we're gonna go through the last base, which is the Titan for 250k. So, guys, watch out for the next video. Uh, as always, really appreciate, guys, you watching the video. I appreciate all the feedback, I appreciate all the comments, all the support you're giving, guys. Uh, if you like the video, obviously, uh, give the thumbs up. You can leave the comment. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you the next time guys.